Hey you guys, Erin and Dusty here at Eat Move Rest and welcome or welcome back to our channel. Yes. So we've got another nutritious and delicious recipe for you guys today, but it's not technically for you guys. <laughs> this one is for your fur babies. That being said, you totally could eat this. I'm looking <laughs> at it like, wow, I might pull up a dish right next to Bo tonight. <laughs> it is, looks amazing. This is legit what we eat every single day. Pretty close. <laughs> yes, so contrary to popular belief dogs are not carnivores they are actually omnivores right. so they can subsist on a 100% vegan or plant-based diet just as we can right. and they can thrive well into old age which is <laughs> all that we want for Bo. So we understand this it seems a little bit daunting to have to now cook your dog food too <laughs> and maybe expensive. Full disclosure Bo doesn't eat like this all the time so this is a supplement to what we usually feed him, V-Dog. So we love this stuff, and more importantly, Bo does too. And we have a discount code that we will place below in the description. If you type in Eat, Move, Rest at the checkout, you'll get a sweet discount and you can please your pups. Honestly, let him be the judge because totally. he didn't like his old food, which no. had us on the hunt for a new brand, a new variety, Yep. Uh, we decided why not go vegan with it? We are, and we found that dogs can do it too, so we jumped on board with V-Dog and we haven't looked back because he loves it. One more side note, we are not claiming to be experts, we're not veterinarians, we're not trained or educated in that area, <laughs> but we have done our own research, so yep. we're just sharing what we found to work for us and we're excited to share it with you guys because if you are interested in making homemade dog food, it's really a fun experience because it doesn't take very much effort at all with the instant pot or something similar. Right. And a lot of times at dinner time, we're enjoying our food and Bo is sitting there with the saddest look <laughs> in his eyes and we can't help but give him table scraps or like let him eat up whatever we chop up because right. honestly, these are the foods that when they fall on the floor, he goes for them. So He loves them anyway. <laughs> so this recipe includes some supplements. We'll tell you guys about those. And we have kind of formulated this recipe from f some other YouTubers. And again, like Aaron said, we've done our research. We we'll, can get it into that stuff later, the nitty gritty. But for now, let's do the recipe. And if you guys like this video, thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure you've got the bell click to turn on notifications and get alerted when we put out new content. Leave us some love in the comments below or if you are an experienced dog food cook <laughs> or chef, let us know what we could do better or differently and let's get cooking. Let's get going. So for this homemade dog food recipe, we're gonna break it down into different components so that you can understand the process and maybe tweak it in case you don't have all of these exact ingredients because just like us humans, dogs need their variety too, so there's a lot of ways to get creative with it. So the bulk of your recipe is going to be these three items. So we've got two cups of green lentils, two cups of brown rice, and about two medium diced sweet potatoes. Like I said, this is the bulk. This is gonna be most of the calories. We'll get into the rest in a second. Okay, so super simple. All you gotta do is pour these into the, the Instant Pot and then fill your Instant Pot about three quarters way with water. So once you have those in your Instant Pot, close it up, make sure it's not vented, and set it for 30 minutes. So while we've got the bulk of our recipe cooking up in our Instant Pot, I'm gonna show you guys some other fresh fruits and veggies that you can add in. Again, feel free to get creative with it, but do your research also to find out what dogs can and cannot consume. So number one, carrots are Bo's favorite, like legit favorite. Come here, bud. Here are the optional add-ins that we chose for this recipe. So we're gonna do about two cups of chopped curly kale, three medium carrots, one cup of frozen blueberries. Any kind of berries are amazing for dogs. We're doing a half cup of ground flax, super important for those healthy ALA omega-3 fatty acids. We've got a half cup of nutritional yeast that'll give our pup all of his B vitamins, including vitamin B12, super important on a vegan diet, even for dogs. 
And then here we also have two tablespoons of flax oil. You can also use hemp oil, olive oil, whatever kind you would like. Dogs need a little bit more protein than we need and a little bit more fat than we do. So make sure you get in those healthy fats and proteins. So yes, Dusty and I are oil free as you might know if you follow us, but for dogs, why oil, you might ask? This is gonna be fantastic to give them a lustrous, shiny coat and keep their skin super hydrated because nobody wants a flaky, dry skin pup, so make sure they get those healthy fats. So now for our third tier of ingredients. This is where the nutritionally complete part of the recipe comes into play. So we've got pup supplements. Who else puts powders and loads up their smoothies with all kinds of superfoods? I know Dusty and I do, so why is it any different doing it for your pup, right? Well, I know it can seem expensive, so if you're not crazy about getting all of these dog superfoods, then that's why it's important to go with something that's a trusted brand like V-Dog that you know is nutritionally complete. You don't have to, you know, it takes the guesswork out of it. But like we said, Bo is eating V-Dog alongside his homemade dog food, so this is just, you know, more for his enjoyment. We're having fun doing it, so we like to do this for Bo every once in a while. The first supplement that we've got is called Cranimals, and this one is just strictly ground up dried cranberries. It's fantastic for urinary tract health. I will say that we used to have a kitty that always got UTIs, which you wouldn't think of in your pets, but it's super common. So this just makes sure that the acidity is, is in balance. So there's Cranimals. We're gonna add in one and a half teaspoon or tablespoons of that. And then number two, we've got Veggie Dog. So Veggie Dog contains all kinds of minerals. It's got uh, zinc, calcium, iron. It also has vitamin A, vitamin D, super important for vegans, even vegan pups. What else do we have? We've got selenium. And one important thing is an amino acid called taurine that dogs need extra of. So this is a great supplement right here. We've got two tablespoons of Veggie Dog. And then our third and final supplement we're going to add in is green mush. We've got two tablespoons of this. Green mush is going to be just basically a green superfood blend. It's, it also contains all kinds of enzymes, probiotics, sea veggies, so tons of green, anti-inflammatory, alkalizing, super great for human consumption and animal consumption. This one is also good for small critters. You can feed it to rabbits, cats, guinea pigs, hamsters, you name it. So this is not sponsored, but I do want to tell you guys that I found all of these on a website called CompassionCircle.com. And like I said, since Dusty and I are not experts, you can go there and find all kinds of fantastic information to make sure that you're doing what's best for your pets. Okay guys, meet Cucho. So Cucho is our very first foster puppy. We got set up through the Humane Society here locally in Lincoln to be foster pet parents. And like I keep telling Dusty, I have puppy fever, I really want a puppy. And he said, you have baby fever. We're having a baby in December. So it's not the best time for us to get a new puppy on board. So for now we're just fostering and little Cucho is so much fun and so adorable, so we're excited to let him try a little bit of our homemade food too. Not too much. Baby puppies' stomachs can be a little bit more sensitive and they need a little bit different nutritional content than adult dogs, but we're gonna let him give it a try. So this is after about 35-ish minutes in the Instant Pot. It looks incredible. It's creamy, it's smooth, it's juicy. These pups are gonna be eating good tonight. Power tool time. Next step is to use an immersion blender to puree your dog's food. So basically we're just gonna puree the base of it because it becomes much more highly absorbable for your dog in their digestive tract. They have a much shorter digestive tract than us humans do, so things go through there a lot more quickly, and if it's pureed, it's going to aid in maximum absorption. You can see it already kind of looks like a canned dog food consistency, which is exactly what we want, but we are gonna add in a few chunks and crunchies and munchies, so we're gonna add in our two cups of leafy greens. 
And then Bo's other favorite are three carrots. We're gonna add in our berries. Now I'm gonna give that a stir quick. Now we're gonna add in our nutritional yeast, our ground flax seed, our flax oil, and last but not least, our supplements. We've got our veggie dog with all of our vitamins and minerals, our green powder, green mush, and our cranimals. Okay, you guys, so we've got a little bit of our homemade vegan dog food here, and we are going to give Bo and little Cucho here their base of V-Dog. We're gonna top it with the homemade vegan dog concoction. And then we're also gonna add in, just for a little bit of color, we're gonna add in extra kale, carrots, and blueberries. Dinner is almost served. So we're gonna take our homemade vegan dog food and we're just kind of gonna put it on top as sort of a gravy. Now when you're an avid YouTuber and Instagrammer that means everything even your dog's dish has to be picture perfect. <laughs> this is not something I do on a regular basis nor do I recommend it but for the gram gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, you guys, so this is the final product. We've got our kibble, we've got our homemade, and we've got our whole foods. What more could a pup ask for? So if you guys enjoyed watching this video, if you can't wait to try your own homemade vegan dog food, give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you're not already part of the Eat, Move, Rest fam. We've got lots more goodies coming for you throughout the rest of the year, throughout the rest of our lifetime. <laughs> Leave us some love in the comments below. Let us know what you thought. Follow Dusty and I on social media, especially on Instagram at dbstanzik, at Stanzik. And until next time, bye-bye <laughs> from all of us. <laughs> so this is Bo's dish. He's a big boy, so he gets a big meal. And we've got little Cucho's because we all know what happens when dogs get the best homemade dog food in the world. They fight. So let's see what they think. You ready, boys? Where are my little V-dogs at? Sit. Lay down. Good boy. Yes, 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 yes. Where to start? Here you go, baby. Right here. You guys have a picky puppy like we do. Bo sometimes has a hard time getting himself to eat. We put the this homemade dog food on the V-Dog and it's like incredible, he loves it. So put some of that homemade gravy on any of, his, of their dog foods and they will eat it up, I promise.